from which to fashion Eve. And God brought Eve to Adam. Thus the scripture suggests that God specifically made Eve for Adam. And Adam for Eve. Kenny and Shania, you both affirm that you believe God specifically purposed you to share life together. As an acknowledgement that you do receive one another as God's gift, please join hands together. Kenny. <laughs> it's important for a husband to learn something about receiving his wife by observe, observing the manner in which God created him. Amen. God did not use a bone from Adam's foot to suggest that he should lord over it, the wife. Nor did he take a bone from his head to suggest that Eve should lord it over her husband. In choosing to use Adam's rib, it is suggested that Eve was created to share life at Adam's side. Close to his heart. Also, since Adam was created first, it is suggested that God intends man to initiate spiritual leadership in the home. Kenny, is it your commitment to receive Shania to your side to love her and to care for her, to open your heart and life to her, and to be a spiritual leader in the home? Do you promise? <laughs> Shania Shania The wife learns something important about her role in marriage and how to receive her husband by also observing the order of creation Inasmuch as God chose to first create man then from man made a woman and brought her to a man, it is suggested that God's intention for the wife to truly consider herself as a gift to her husband. This in turn suggests she must trust her husband as a leader in the home. As, an, as the New Testament teaching bears out, of course this means that the wife must be Submissive to her husband's spiritual authority and leadership in the home. Shania. Leadership. Is it is it your commitment to receive Kenny as your spiritual head and be submissive to his leadership as his supportive and loving wife? Do you promise? As an expression of your commitment today, Kenny and Shania, you will now exchange wedding rings and vows. All right, Ezra, that's your cue. <laughs> well, get the rings out. Each one of them. <laughs> Much is suggested about the quality of your love as we look at these rings. Oh, <laughs> Made of fine, precious metals. The ring suggests your commitment to unfailing purity and fidelity in your love. So as you wear it, may you continually be reminded of this commitment. Also, 
we know that the ring is a complete circle with no separation point. This suggests a commitment on your part to always remain together. <laughs> and never reject one another. It further suggests an openness to seek to see life from one another's viewpoint. With an understanding that each of you makes a vital contribution to the strength and character of one another. <laughs> Kenny, as you now take the ring you place it on your bride's finger, push it into the, her first number. Shania. Shania. With this ring. With this ring. I commit all my love to you. I commit all my love to you. As I love the Lord. Stand up. As I love the Lord. So do I love you. I love you. I receive you. I receive you. As God's gift to me. God's gift to me. I receive every quality of your life. I receive every quality of your life. As purposed by God. As purposed by God. To perfect. To perfect. Virtue in me. Virtue in me. Thank you, Lord. As God enables me. As God enables me. I will lead our home. I will lead our home. Spiritually. Spiritually. Under the Lordship. Under the Lord of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. I will seek to support. I will seek to support. And encourage you. And encourage you. Through each life challenge. Through each life challenge. All that is mine. All that is mine. Is yours. Is yours. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Now you can seal it. Amen. Now, Sean, you place the ring on Kenny's finger. Just slide it up onto his first note, like he did for you. I got you. Your turn. Your turn. Repeat these words after me. Kenny. Kenny. With this, With this ring, I commit all my love to you. As I love the Lord, so do I love you. I receive you, I receive you. as God's gift to me. As God's I receive every quality. Of your, life, of your life as purposed by, purpose by God to perfect virtue in me. I trust the Lord, I trust the Lord to enable me to, to be submissive to you, submissive to you as, my as my spiritual head and leader of our home. Of our home. I will seek to support and encourage you through each life challenge. All that is mine is yours until death do us part. 
Did you see what we do? Yeah. My goodness. Hey, hey. By the authority of Jesus Christ. Oh, I <laughs> State ain't got nothing to do with that, do it? Yeah. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Shepherd. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it talks about the woman submitting to the man, the husband, the wife, the husband. But the verse that follows that comes out of the book of Ephesians, the Apostle Paul speaking this through Christ Jesus. Using, right, using Paul. It says, Husbands, love your wives, mm -hmm. even as Christ also loved the church. She's, this, she's part of the church, the body, and gave himself for it. So that's my duty to love her as Jesus loves us. And that's what I'm going to do. As he led by example, that's the way we're supposed to follow and supposed yes. to do. Yes. This right here will humble you so much to wash another person's foot. To wash another man's foot or wash another woman's foot. It will humble you very quick. But I'll tell you what, it's called servitude. Yes. Servitude. <laughs> Broken. Not your elbow. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's your towel. I'm off. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Here, let me get some time. Here, let me get some time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.